Okay, so as you can see, I fed the sundew some fruit fly larvae, and we're going to see if it can actually eat them or if they just kind of wiggle off. I will update you later. I got these from my compost bucket. It was sitting there for a few days, got fruit flies, so I just kind of scraped them off the lid and I put them on here. I will update you and see if it eats these and if this actually does anything for the sundew the next day so it is the next day and as you can see they stayed here the sundew was able to kind of hold them down i think a couple of them kind of wriggled off or something but a few of them stayed um and this one right at the bottom here is kind of hard it's like a shell it's a husk at this point so it was all liquefied and absorbed so I think that you can take fruit fly larvae and feed it to your sundew. And I would say this is probably easier than trying to get flying insects and, you know, capturing them and sticking them into the traps. You can just pick them up with kind of like a stick like this or some tweezers or something and just place them in there. And obviously <laughs> they're easy to come by. You just get some rotting fruit, pick them out. And it's producing two flower spikes. So there's one here and then there's a mature flower spike all the way up here get a better shot but there it is the last time it produced the flower stalk was in the winter and i didn't know if the seeds were going to be viable enough because there wasn't a lot of sunlight and i didn't think a lot of energy would have been put into the seeds um the flower spike kind of fizzled out at the end of its life cycle but it produced seeds nonetheless but, so we're gonna get more seeds this summer i forget what tree it is but it produces these fuzzy seeds and they're just all getting caught in the traps i think that's over at this point but still all the traps are filled with it here's one of the seeds down here and there's some baby sundew growing in there because it was producing seeds i don't know how they're gonna catch anything i don't know how they get anything small enough hopefully they'll turn into something and i can kind of separate them out one week later okay so here are more fruit fly larvae on the sundew it seemed to work out well last time as you can see there were the dead ones were eaten right there and the shells were kind of left it kind of curled right over it i just put a bunch more on here there that is they're kind of wiggling around mm. ew <laughs> look at that so, uh, soon they should be digested. This one is gigantic. I think some of them fell. There's a lot of flowers on it, and it's doing well. It's surprisingly... Oh, one just fell. You win some, you lose some. Oh, you can see it's already wrapped around here. There. There, yep. These ones are pretty trapped. Oh, this is one of the better traps anyways. A mature one, but not too old. Still very dewy, so... That one should likely eat most of them. And here are some flower spikes. And I'm going to be getting some seeds. There is a seed head right there. There are the larvae. And it's been a few minutes, and as you can see, the trap is kind of bending. This one is really getting kind of shut into the little trichomes, if that's what you call them. Yeah, you can see all the little trichomes are bent right in. And the fruit fly larvae are kind of now concentrated at the center of the leaf and they are going to start being digested. So there they are. That leaf is gonna probably be not very functional after this, but you know, it's suiting its purpose. Get the sundew nutrients. That's all for now. It's been gross.